Hello guys and welcome back. The Volvo V19 Cross Country 2019 model. Um, it's here with me and I will do a review interior, exterior, and I will try to show you every single detail on this beautiful tourer um, estate or combi, the way you want to call it. Uh, this V19, it is uh, really a beautiful car and also um, the crossover if you know the the normal v19 the crossover it has a little bit of um higher um how it's called that uh, the ground clearance so the car have a bigger higher ground clearance so you can go with the car a little bit of off-road here are uh, some information about the car so you can see their t6 all-wheel drive uh, if you are in Switzerland, you can check out uh, the Volvo uh, in Bern. Uh, they have a lot of cars here. You can see all the information. Also, 310 horsepower, 2 liter engine, price 93,800 francs dollars. Also, Volvo offer a 10 year warranty, uh, free service. Uh, this is a really, really great thing uh, that you don't have to worry about the car for 10 year or 150,000 kilometers. This is quite amazing. And I'm really impressed with what they can offer. This is super cool. So um, you just have to pay for the, the oil and all that things, uh, fluid things, but the service is free. You can see the caliper here, Volvo uh, brakes caliper. Also the discs are really big for this car because uh, it has a lot of horsepower. We have Firelli P0 um, as expected, air 20 inch rims here um, on this V19 crossover. Um, they look very nice, those rims on the car. In my opinion, the car looks fantastic. Also, I like, uh, I like the way they protect the edges of the car i will show you in the moment i also like this black plastic black glossy plastic around the windows it look fantastic uh in my opinion and this this these edges here this plastic on the edges it's gorgeous the best plastic i ever see on a car you can see normally this plastic it's matte plastic but this time volvo choice to to add some extra um extra how you say uh, extra design, extra um, quality, I can say, because this plastic is not like the normal one. So you can see it's kind of a gray plastic, but it's not matte. It's it's a combination between glossy and matte. And the quality of this plastic, it's quite better. Also, we have it here. So that, that plastic protect the car when you open the door. So you cannot hit uh things if you hit it you can change it very easy also down here is the same plastic and it's very easy to change if you if you scratch the car or or something anyway here this line uh it's super nice also the plastic around the windows as i show you before uh, it's super fancy i see it on many cars these days also uh, bmw use it and also audi uh, up there we have some extra uh, uh, support for the extra trunk uh, the shape of the car it's quite interesting if you also already see the v19 it's not so big difference but uh, the shapes are quite interesting and also uh, the model is a little bit taller uh, back here we have the same same uh, plastic that protect the car uh, this plastic it's made very very nice uh, in my opinion and also it go all the way through uh, of the other side and here in the middle we have the cross country uh, logo i mean it's writing down there so it's quite interesting uh, the way they do it the exhaust pipe look also very nice and sportier uh, and I'm, i can't believe this car is so powerful these days uh, all manufacturers begin to make powerful car I mean like tourer powerful car so you have these days a family car with a lot of space and a lot of power you can see here the engine t6 all rear drive v19 logo on the other side and um, down here we have the led light with the back camera on the numbers plate 
Also the brake light LED here up the spoiler, it's simple, uh, nothing complicated, not so many edges there, it's just a simple and then it begins this LED light that go classic on the old Volvo cars, it's kind of classic this LED light in the back, uh, they keep this um, signature on the back uh, that look very nice. Also I like the big windows here, you have great visibility from the interior of the car. Uh, you will see it in the moment we will go inside. We have um, keyless entrance here, a nice door handle. Um, it's very nice, it feels good quality when you open the door. Also the mirror here is very nice. I like the way they choose to leave the same color in the interior here. You can see normally the car have a black a matte there, but all the mirror is in the, the color of the car. And I like that LED blinker. Uh, and here is what I'm talking about. They keep the same color around the mirror. We also have the blind spot technology on this car. A lot of new tech uh, as expected at this price. <laughs> you expect a lot of great technology. Also here in the front, we have the same protector. We have parking sensors as well. We have this rubber protection for the wheel there. LED light on the fog lamps. Down here, uh, again, some nice shape and those uh, adaptive full LED lamp uh, in the front with the Volvo signature right here look quite uh, amazing in my opinion. Also down here we have some space where the air go in and go out uh, around the wheel uh, that help a little bit for the technique of the car for aerodynamic. Uh, and also I like the shapes, the shapes and the way they they design the front car with these two grills, uh, one small down and the other grill here in the middle look fantastic. Uh, I like this grill, I like the fact that the car have a front camera as well uh, as in the back camera. Here the design of the grill, it's beautiful, we have chrome around, uh, it's kind of classic, almost all the car have the same grill. Uh, also two free lines on the hood here, very beautiful, nice shapes uh, that help the car look a little bit more uh, aggressive and sportier. Now I like the big, the, the big ground clearance, I like the fact that you can go uh, on a little bit of off-road, I can say like that, not so much. I like that in, in the city with uh, many holes on the streets, uh, the car it's, it's great. Also, or when you live in the countryside. Anyway, I like this metal here, aluminum plates, the hooks also aluminum, super nice. They look very nice. Uh, we have LED lamp in the trunk. The trunk is huge, 12 volt port as well here uh, and a lot of hooks. Um, also, you can see in the front there, it's kind of big, it's huge, this trunk. I think it's bigger than the SUV's one. I think it's bigger. It's, it's kind of big and I like the fact that you can load your stuff directly flat there. Uh, it looks fantastic. Also, you can take this protection out from here. Uh, this is the trunk protection. Uh, you can take it out without any problem. Um, and then you can carry big big items. I'm really impressed with this thing here. It's also automatic. You can see you have uh, uh, air. Uh, I don't know how this is calling. I forget the name, but it's quite automatic and it will stay. Uh, it, it will stay. Uh, it will stay up there uh, when you push it up. And under this floor, we have a spare tire. Uh, with all that mechanical stuff to change it. So quite, quite nice and a lot of space here in the trunk. Amazing, great job, great job Volvo, I like that. I really like it. Also going inside in the back here, um, let's fold down the seats to show you that those are the best seats i ever seen uh, in a car. I have to say that my favorite seat are in Volvo and the way they, they go flat floor, the space that you still have it there on the legs, 
the fact that everything is flat uh, and the mechanical stuff, mechanical part, the comfort on the seats, uh, it's fabulous. Look at this. Look, everything flat, everything perfect. You can even sleep in this car without any problem. You can put a mat there and you can sleep. Here is the protection when you open the door. Super cool and super uh, great idea. You can change those plastic parts very easy. If you hit the door and something, it's, it's fantastic. Anyway, here in the middle, you have a center armrest. There you have a space where you can put some stuff and also here up and then push this and you have two cup holders. Quite useful. The bad thing is this part here, when you want to carry long items, the big, big problem is that this in the middle, you have to open it only for the trunk. So you have to stretch out there and open this from the trunk and only from the trunk. So when you carry long items, uh, yeah, you have to go in the trunk, stretch out a little bit and open it. So you cannot open it from the interior, but that's not a problem. Even not close it from the interior. You have to go in the back again to close that if you want to close it. So you have to go again and then close it. I think this is the only thing that I find negative in this uh, car or in the Volvo, new Volvo's car. But the other things are fabulous. The seats, the way they fold, the huge space that left here on the legs. Huge, huge space. Um, it's phenomenal something that i have to tell you the the space inside these cars and the way they fold the seat this is one of the best car on the market you have to keep in mind this also i love the beautiful uh, glass roof there in in the car in the volvo car look fantastic also keep this in mind um, everything material of this seat it's very very good uh, they are heavy they are really heavy these seats not like in other cars you have to know that they are heavy but they have great great quality usually the the, the good quality materials are heavy so you have to keep this in mind so uh, when it's something heavy that means good quality as well not always but um, yeah it's like a principle also i like the leather around here that protects the passengers in the back uh, very good job. We have a step there in the middle, uh, kind of big step, but you have still a lot of space. Here the vents and the touch screen for the vents. Uh, down here we have a 230 volt, so you can charge your laptop. <clears throat> and the back of the seats are made from something like a rubber. We have a storage space here. And also I like the fact that the, the seats are very, very tiny, very skinny and that help the car have a lot of space inside in the same time they are tiny and skinny and they are very comfortable they did a great job with those seats and i like that also around the windows here great quality uh, around the windows everything look fabulous and well made and uh, everything what you touch here it's soft material and good quality even this solar protection here it's nice uh, down here we have kind of a, a nice design. I don't think it's wood, it's kind of a plastic. But this plastic, uh, it's well integrated in the door with some uh, chrome design. Uh, the handle look nice in chrome. Also the speaker look fantastic. Bauer and Wilkins, super nice quality. Also the, the button for the electric window, it's black glossy. Uh, a lot of storage and i'm really impressed the fact that they put leather here in the storage space behind the storage space it's leather it's quite crazy who well who make this really nice i didn't see first time when i seen a car leather in the storage space it's, it's kind of impressive also down here chrome design uh, with led lights going inside the car and phenomenal those seats are phenomenal they are my favorite seats from all the car i ever been handle vents here in the b pillar uh, rubber here uh, also good quality handle hooks a lot of hooks up here we have led light on the roof and good quality as well on this roof um, 
they make it nice. It's not Alcantara, but it's good quality. Also, um, good visibility on the windows here. Uh, you have great visibility. Uh, no worry about that. Also, nice, nice to have this glass roof over your head. It's super nice. Huge space on my legs. Not big, huge space. Because the seats are very small, uh, the space it's huge and I like it and I'm really comfortable here. Uh, also on my head, I have plenty of space. So no complaining at all. Um, I'm really happy with the space here, really happy. Here in the middle as well, I have a lot of space on my legs and also on my head. And around me, left and right, I have a lot of space. I can sit here with three people without any problem even for long trips uh, i can be here uh, no problem at all uh, but maybe we have to make more stops uh, than normal and change the places sometimes but you can drive without any problem long trips uh, really impressive with the space i'm really impressed how much space look how much space is there on the legs i can even put my legs aside it's, it's amazing uh, yeah Great job, Volvo. I have to tell you the, the truth. So I, I don't make any video that it's uh, sponsored from some car company. You have to know this. You have to keep this in mind. If you see my videos, no video sponsored from. I say everything I see, everything I feel, the truth. So if you, you want to find out uh, uh, the truth about all the cars that are on the market, check out my other videos on the channel and then uh, you will see there also in the front great quality bauer and winkins amazing sound in this car you have to know it the the the, the sound is fantastic the quality of the materials the leather the lines uh, everything it's well made in every detail so um, quite impressed the quality of the materials the buttons are glossy plastic uh, they are nice, they are interesting. I, I see better in other cars, but they are simple. Uh, also the leather in the glow box, this is the first time when I see that uh, in a car, quite interesting, but quality is good. Volvo logo here down with some uh, LED light inside there. Electric adjustable seats in the front. Uh, you can see here the buttons. The seats are uh, my favorites, one of my favorites very good quality, uh, very soft, uh, nice holes and stitches there, side support. They are gorgeous, really good for long trips as well. Um, they did a great job with them, so I like them very much. Also, um, yeah, the interior, you can see it from here, from the front part, uh, it's nice. The front part, it's nice. Here we have some storage space where you can put some stuff. Also very useful, uh, the button for the electric lift gate in the back for the trunk. And as you can see now, I'm closing the door and the visibility is uh, super good on the windows. Great visibility. Also in the back, I want to show you that you have very good visibility. Even though the car have a back camera, you still have a lot of good visibility. Uh, the seats from the front side. Uh, you can see it they are nice we have speakers up here on the roof also uh, led lamp up here we have the button for the adjustable glass roof on the uh, roof the mirror it's nice you have good visibility also very fancy uh, up here we have a glass with led light super nice as well um, handle and everything you need. The vents look nice and typical for Volvo. Good quality. Nice chrome design around there. Uh, the dashboard is soft. You can see it's soft material everywhere. Uh, head up display as well. Soft, soft, soft everywhere. So nice, nice design. You can see that way you have a good visibility because it's simple. They do the dashboard really simple and super quality also i like these speakers here in the front uh, they look super fancy i like them very much and also you can see on the dashboard very very nice soft material 
some uh, chrome insertion here. Uh, the glow box is big, very big. Actually, you have two parts up there and down. Super nice glow box. Um, yeah. What I want to show you now. Um, the multimedia system, you already know it from my other videos. Here in the middle, we have the center armrest in leather with white stitches, the way they, they, they do it, it's super nice. Uh, you have a CD player here. I don't know who used this anymore. Two USB port and a lot of space down there. Uh, quite okay. Now, uh, going forward, the center console, it's super nice with leather. So you can see the leather continuing to the front part. Down here, you don't have any plastic. You have to keep in mind that here it's fabric material. So those are uh, very good quality around here. So you don't find many plastic in this car. Uh, I like the fact that the leather go all the way to the front. We have a space here where you can put your key or something small. And also this is very nice. This is wood here. So it's really wood. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if this is wood also on the dashboard, but down here it's 100% wood. And here we have two cup holders, 12 volt board and electric, a handbrake, auto hold, driving mode, you can change driving modes, uh, economical, comfort or sport. Also a uh, start stop button, it's right there. Kind of a button, it's not like a button. Uh, and uh, a stick for changing the gear actually it's automatic so you change in neutral reverse or uh, drive mode also down there you have the space for sd card and some buttons for the climatic system and the blinker the vents are integrated here in the middle as well they are super nice and uh, the multimedia system you already know it. it's super fancy uh, it's simple to use it's very responsive and here you can change different um, uh, six, I mean safety settings. Uh, you can see what this car have blind spot and adaptive cruise control, traffic sign uh, reading and all that stuff. When you have the key in your uh, car, you will see it all. So you can adjust everything. Here you can see the consumption and information about the car. Also, you see it from my other video. I don't want to go into detail with this multimedia system. Also, we have the cockpit, uh, the new cockpit, uh, digital, and it has great colors. It's work perfect. Uh, you can also see the map in 3D. Uh, it's fantastic. One of the best as well, and the cockpit as well look look much more with the cockpit from the Volkswagen. Uh, this digital cockpit here you can change the different settings you can also see the navigation right there in the middle so it's super fancy and i like it you have a lot of information there on the display the colors are good it's very responsive and from the driver point of view it's gorgeous i like the steering wheel it's look a little bit like a range rover <laughs> you know if you remember this line here in the middle a little bit like a Range Rover it's super nice quality also when you touch it it's, it's super cool uh, and good quality the buttons are glossy black you can see it here you change different settings in adaptive cruise control from here you can change the um, digital display and the setting that you want to see there in the front um, I don't want to go into detail because maybe you see it already I just have to tell you a few words. It is one of the best and the colors in the video, you cannot see it so well, but in real, uh, it will blow your mind. It's really well made and um, I like it very much. I like the, the information that you can see there and uh, all that stuff. Also the mirror, it's nice and you see it already and everything. Um, it's feel great. The car is really expensive, but it has a lot of great technology and great quality. And also the engine is fantastic uh, and strong as well. I guess that was my review, guys, with, uh, uh, with this car. I hope you enjoyed the review. 
Um, I really like the car. I find it a little bit expensive, but I like it very much. So thank you for watching my videos, guys. Subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. And thank you very much for watching. I wait you soon with the next course. So uh, stay safe and see you soon.